Well, you've all seen the old egg in a bottle trick, haven't you? And you've probably tried it. Did it work or didn't it? On goes the egg. As the flame went out, air inside the bottle started to cool. It contracted, less pressure inside, more pressure outside. Atmospheric pressure pushed the egg in. Well, even if it worked after several tries, you maybe wasted a number of eggs. And eggs are expensive. What the world needs is a good, cheap, artificial egg. You can make one. How? Well, I'm glad you asked. You've seen these water bomb balloons, haven't you? I'm sure you have. All you need to do is to fill one up with water and use it instead of throwing at somebody, use it as an artificial egg. You know how you fill them up. You simply stretch one of these little balloons over the tap and pump some water into it or turn the tap on. Then you tie it off and there's your water bomb or in this case, there's your artificial egg, which you can use to place on top of the bottle and do the trick. How does it work? Well, this is what you do, of course. You start with a piece of paper and twist it around like so. And then we light the piece of paper, get our egg ready next to the bottle, light the piece of paper, and while it's burning, thrust it into that bottle, let it burn for a while, place the egg on top, and there it goes. And with an artificial egg, it doesn't matter if it breaks, but it probably won't. Very flexible, very easy to use, and here's the beauty of it all. You can adjust the size of your egg to the size of your bottle or jar. So you can use a giant size one if you prefer. Well, let's try an oversized egg with an ordinary size milk bottle. How do you think that would work? Do you think I could get that artificial egg into that milk bottle? I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. But once again, piece of paper, twist it around, take the egg off. Watch this time and see if you can see it bouncing at the beginning. You get a few seconds of bouncing if you do it correctly. There we are. The paper is burning and down it goes into the bottle. Egg goes on, bounces and in it goes. Oversize egg into a bottle. But how do you get it out? Well, it's not impossible. You might think, ah, well, I need to increase the pressure uh, inside that bottle. I guess I need to heat the air up. That's one way of doing it, but there's a much easier way of increasing the pressure. Have a look at that. If we balance the little artificial egg, or real egg, in the neck of the bottle, you can increase the pressure simply by blowing some air up past it. Let's see if it works. One, two, three. There it is. By the way, this is how they make glass bottles.